So welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about 3D printed parts and fireworks. So here is a rocket that I printed about a year ago. This is the same rocket that I made a year ago. I never even used it. It's been sitting for about a year now. Um, this was the old ugly file that I used to print because I was barely getting into it. I didn't really know how to print. Um, this, these wings are super thin and they're like flimsy and I can break them. Um, but then you fast forward on to something like this. I made this from scratch though, so I actually uh, made my own gerundola. Um, now that I know how to do whistle, I can actually make my own um, gerundola drivers. And as you can see there, that is uh, whistle. It's, it's a pink mix. Now this is cord. I wouldn't be using that for the gerundola. It's got to be an inverter. Um, but today I found a file online that is this nice rocket fin. Nice and thick and it's, it's super sturdy looks very nice and it actually locks in very nicely with the uh, tube. I didn't even have to use any glue or anything. Um, the good thing about the short spindle is that you'll be able to get a short burst so it'll get it up in the air fast, uh, a little bit faster and then because it's a short spindle you'll have a lot more uh, sound so you'll hear the whistle more. When it's a longer spindle like this um, you'll notice that the spindle is pretty much at the top um, it'll get a lot more thrust and then when it reaches the solid it'll make the whistle so you'll be able to hear it um, When it takes off you can hear the whistle, but it's just not as pronounced as it normally is um, Here is a two sp uh, two color spaceship um, usually I will use um, You know red and black or one like this. This is also 3d printed I made this from scratch as well So I was able to 3d print these and I've already tried them and they work tested them in my video then you come to the smaller rocket here. These are what they call disposable rocket fins. Uh, you can make them in pretty much any color. Um, these I made today, they're 5 16th whistle rockets. Um, as I showed before on my channel, I have the 5 16th whistle tool. Or actually these are just uh, rocket tools, but I use them to make my whistle. I have a few more whistle rockets. Now this whistle rocket here, is the standard 3.5 inch but i use the small stinger missile uh, spindle so the spindle only goes that far and the rest is filled up with uh, whistle mix and then also with a flash report on top all these as well have flash and then i'm going to be pressing this guy into a whistle rocket which that what the rocket there is black powder this one is going to be pressed into a whistle rocket i have a nose cone ready to go for it um, but I'm going to be putting a rocket stick on this one. Whistle Cuete rocket, um, 5 8 inner diameter. Uh, I just want to show you guys, I already did a test on my flash, but you know it's good flash whenever you rub your fingers on it and it leaves that behind. A lot of commercial uh, flash looks just like that, um, that metal that sticks to you, but very, very good flash. So. I already showed a video on how to make it, so if you're curious on how to make it, um, I can just ask in the in the comments and I'll go ahead and uh, share the video to you, but you can just look through my channel for Flash, um, and it's in there, uh, M80s or something like that, and then you'll be able to find it. This is how fast this Flash is, so if you make a lot, you gotta be very careful because you could definitely blow your hand off with that, but this potassium perchlorate, I didn't even have to do any kind of grinding down I want to say I bought it when it's milled, but I got two pounds, so I just mixed it with my aluminum that I have, and there you go. You can see how fast it is, so I um, just wanted to show you guys the flash powder once again. I know I've showed it on my channel before, but just wanted you guys to see that, how fast this guy is and dangerous it is. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one, and thank you for watching.